first up, a capture or kill order has been issued against a tiger in uh, the Hundipur area of Bandipur after a farmer was mauled to death by the tiger on Tuesday morning. A note issued by the additional principal chief conservator of forest said that the tiger will be captured in the next one or two days. The order was issued after the incident on Tuesday, which was the second instance of a farmer being mauled to death by a tiger in the same area in the last two months. Well, the Hindupur area falls under the Gopalaswamy range of the Bandipur Tiger Reserve. The area was gripped with tension on Tuesday after the residents were angered by the death of 80-year-old farmer Shivalingappa. Well, in September, another man called Shiva Madeya was also killed by a tiger. The forest department, prompted by angry residents, had set up traps and cameras to track the movements of the tiger following Shiva Madeya's death. Uh, in fact, visuals from the camera also uh, showed that the tiger is a healthy one and has been seen moving very quickly. Well, this also goes against the notion that Normally, old and injured tigers, which are unable to hunt, take to killing cattle and other animals. So, wildlife activists say that the situation in Bandipur is quite puzzling. Doubts have also been raised about whether the killings were by the same tiger, since three or four tigers are fighting for the same territory. Wildlife activists in Bengaluru are also planning a protest, demanding that the tiger be humanely captured and, at worst, be tranquilized. Joining us over the phone line now is uh, Joseph Hoover, uh, who's also on the way to Bandipur to take a sense of what the situation is like because the villagers there are very angry, but at the same time, it's also important to ensure that uh, they don't kill the tiger. Many thanks for joining us, Mr. Joseph Hoover. If you can tell us about what you know currently and you know how you think the situation should be handled. Yeah, right now, the forest uh, department has set a team uh, quantifying experts and others are there in the field. Mm. Uh, they are trying to locate where the tiger is. Mm. Uh, so obviously, it's not going to be easy. I mean, this spot is all there. Okay. But our main thing is to ensure that it's captured, mm. tranquilized and captured. So, that is our goal. That's precisely why we want to go be there. Huh. And uh, it's not going to be a lark in the park. Hmm. Like if they say within 24 hours, 48 hours, we'll do this, that, that's all just for public uh, consumption. Right. It will take a long time. If you're huh. lucky, we'll see the tiger immediately. Otherwise, it could take two days, four days, it could take even two weeks. So hmm. this is where the history has been in the past. Okay. It's not going to be easy. As I said, as I tell you right now, we're just reaching 24. Hmm. Where they 20 meters out there, so we'll have to see what takes off from there. But uh, there is an honest effort now that uh, people are disturbed, people are angry. Okay. Uh, they need to appease the people, and the fear psychosis is there that the tiger could attack again. Hmm. So definitely the department has to intervene, and they have already started the process. Uh, the teams are there. Hmm. Uh, so where the drones are also uh, being used to locate where the tiger is hiding. Uh, it will take some time. So we are positive that that something good will come out of this. So people can be happy that the tiger will uh, remove from there and we will ensure that the tiger goes to a safe run. Okay. Uh, you know, it's a very sensitive issue and also something that needs to be dealt with very sensibly because it is finally a Bandipur Tiger Reserve. So there are tigers but at the same time the protection of those who are staying there is also very important. As of Absolutely, now, has the forest yeah. department found out whether it is the same tiger that has attacked these people, or is it? It you know, is there is a probability that there could be other tigers as well? It's not just one tiger that's attacking people. No, it's not going to be easy at all, as you said, hmm. because there are three tigers in the same area. Hmm. So to identify this is the animal to pin it down is going to be very difficult because from what I've heard, they had only image of one flank of the tiger. Hmm. Uh, and since there are three tigers in the area, they can't shoot down one which is uh, innocent. Uh, in case that dies again, another kill happens, you have to kill another tiger. So 
That's not going to be good. They need to study it. They need to understand. There are people coming in now, experts are coming to the field. Okay. So they know the area, they know the tiger. They have been talking about it being active for 11 months. Hmm. It has made a lot of uh, cattle kills. And they've been constantly telling the department that it's high time they tranquilize this and check what, why it is it's reacting. Hmm. Why it is reacting. So uh, we'll have to see. Now, now the question is how they're going to take this forward. It's going to be challenging. Hmm. It's not going to be, as I said, it's not a lot in the past. It's going hmm. to take a while. Okay. Uh, and it's gone into hiding. Obviously, it's scared. Uh, we'll see where it goes from there. So, would you say the forest department is completely prepared for it because they also have to deal with the anger that they would be facing from the people uh, who would want an immediate solution? Yeah, people have understood now that the postmortem is done, the burial has happened, hmm. the compensation is paid, hmm. uh, the de deputy commissioner, the assistant commissioner have come and dealt with that situation. Okay. People are now understood. The forest department is earnestly making an effort to get, capture the tiger or either to kill it. Hmm. whatever they've been telling. So we'll have to see. People are now understood that this is now the, the prerogative of the, the responsibility of the forest department to capture the tiger and put them at ease. So that is the process which has begun. Okay. So it'll be interesting how things unfold now. Right. Right. All right. Many thanks, uh, Mr. Joseph Hoover, for joining us. And uh, we'll uh, come to you for more updates on what's happening. Right now, several people from the area are extremely angry. The anger is palpable there in the area after two deaths. Two farmers have died because of a tiger attack. Now, the forest department has launched the search operation already, but it's not going to be easy.